Hello everyone, welcome to Just a Froggy Life. So, we're going to do a little bit of an introduction to this channel before we get into it. My name is Crystal, and this is Just a Froggy Life. I'm going to have vlogs and a lot of crafting, so I can be anywhere from crocheting, sewing, or just other fun crafts. So I hope you guys will come join me and have fun with me making things. We're going to start off this channel by making a video on crocheting. I'm actually going to crochet. Um, this pattern I found on Pinterest, which is a go-to place for patterns. I'm going to make a mini basket to start off with. I recently learned how to crochet, so I've been having a lot of fun, but I've only ever made crochet hearts and granny squares, so I kind of want to branch out and make an actual item because I am kind of in the process of making a tote bag. That's going to take some time, so for now we're going to make a little basket. I'm just using these very neutral colors. Um, these yarns were gifted to me, so I don't know what their weight is, but I'm guessing I could use a 4mm hook because it looks like I can, so... Do I only have a 4 and a half? No way. No. Okay, anyway. I guess I only have a 4 and a half millimeter hook. It'll have to do. Don't mind my room, it's not beautiful right now. And I'll get into why. Let's just get into it. Also, if my production quality isn't the best, that's because I don't really make videos with myself in them. So, I don't have the best gear for it at the moment, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Also, my cat is here, so it's gonna be <laughs> extra difficult. But, anyway, I'm gonna start off by making a magic ring. And then we'll... From there. Okay, so it says start each new round with a chain one, but this chain one does not count as a stitch. So does that count for round one? I keep wanting to do double crochets. I don't know why double crochets are like so ingrained into my brain. I think this is three. I think that's the ace. I'm gonna tighten the ring and recount it. I feel like it's easier when the ring is tied with. At the end of each round, join with the first single crochet of the round and not the chain one. Oh. Okay. Let's start again. And my cat left, so hopefully that'll make it. That'll make it easier for us. So we'll go ahead and do a little slip stitch real quick. And, interestingly enough, um, I learned how to crochet on my gaming channel. So if you guys are interested in watching that video, I will also link it. I definitely struggled. <laughs> I'll be quite honest. But you can watch that if you want. Yeah. Do an increase in every other stitch. So does that mean I start at the first stitch? Or do I skip the first stitch? Does it matter? I don't know. We'll use it. So, I recently learned that to do an increase, you have to do two single crochets in a stitch. Oh. Oh. I'm at least, okay. Almost lost it there. Once we get to a bigger part in this project, I will talk to you guys a little bit more about myself. But my brain doesn't work too well. So if I stop um, focusing, I'm gonna mess up. So I'm supposed to have 12 stitches, and I don't know if I do. But let's pretend I do. And then it says not to do it in two. I should have used a marker, a stitch marker, because I'm. Lost. Does that look about right? No, it doesn't. 
Doesn't it? Let me be honest with you guys. I don't know. Let's pretend. Anyway, chain one. And then increase in every other, so there should be 18. So maybe I should count. I don't know. Something seems off. I'm gonna restart. While I try to get back to where I was, I actually got some stitch markers ready. Right now it's kind of a weird time to start this channel because I'm moving in about a month. It's exciting, but that just means I need to have content prepared. So this should be a fun six weeks. What I don't get... Um... Hold on. I'll figure it out. Don't worry, guys. I don't understand how we go from 8 to 12. But I might have to draw this out real quick. Just so I can figure it out. Can I use a little stitchy marker? Just so I know. Oh, figure out how the heck this works. 8 stitches. <laughs> Mm. Now we're gonna do increases. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How am I supposed to have twelve? This is not making sense. What? It would only make eight. How are they saying twelve? Wait, what? You know what? Let me just pretend like I'm doing lit, but then don't. <laughs> just like so count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, girl, are you telling me? They do a single crochet into the other one? Dude, my mind is absolutely blown. It's like not very explicit in the pattern. Um, it's just supposed to do an increase. I... Okay. You guys, this... It's making sense now. I kind of, un kind of, kind of understand, but we'll see if I can do it. I'm honestly excited for my first actual project because it is going to be like an actual thing, not just like a little baby thing. So that's, that's really exciting, you guys. I think that's all of them. We count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You guys, this is so exciting! We're supposed to do exactly the same thing, but we should end up with 18 stitches this time. So we'll see. Also, I, I worked this morning, but I made this chai latte before I went to work, and it's there's still a significant amount of chai latte in here, so... But it's insulated, so it's not that gross. Also, it's currently 5.12. And I've already been recording for 40 minutes. No, okay. I think that was the last one, so I'm gonna count how many stitches. One, two, three, You guys. This is actually working. Okay, that's that round done. Let me count them now. <laughs> 21, 22, 22, 24. Yes. We're doing good, guys. <laughs> I know it. I think I want a snack. So I'm gonna go cut up some cucumbers for fun. And.
Cheshire Chai is like so sweet, but also so spicy. Like it's like an unexpected spice because like it's not spicy and then all of a sudden, uh, uh, it's spicy. Okay, so apparently I'm also again supposed to increase in every third stitch. Anyway, in our new house, we're going to basically combine my office with our bedroom, and I really want to decorate it really cozy and cute. So I might make some videos recording that. And there's like an allotted space in the backyard for like crop growing. And I really want to make like a little garden. I have some um, seeds already, so I will eventually do that. I messed up all the way back here. Bruh. I thought this was going to be like a one day project. It's I mean, it's only 6 p.m. So I still have time, technically. And that's the end of that round. Hopefully. 39, 30, 31, 32. You guys. So now we have to do an increase in every fourth stitch. <gasps> this could be my little basket for my like crochet stuff possibly this is what we're looking like so far exciting we're supposed to single crochet around in the inner loops okay i knew it was a small basket but this is so tiny Oh my god, I love it. Like, oh my god, I'm already making the edge of the mask. You just is helping the best. I love this so much. I'm gonna use this for my stitch markers. I think that might be really cute. See, I didn't even know I was capable of making stuff like this. This was crazy. Like, it's good. This is gonna be really boring, so... I'll just speed through this part for you guys. I started making a little rainbow for my stitch markers, I'll show you guys. Mine is the green one. We don't pay attention to him. But it's a little rainbow. Can you see the rainbow? Yeah, you can. Why does that look kind of blue? It's not. Hold on. I need to count how many stitches there are because I have a slight feeling that I've been doing it a little bit wrong, but who knows, let's see. I messed up. I messed up. Somehow, I ended up with more stitches. And I think the reason for that is... When I finished a row... I think I was sewing, or I was going into the... I was going into an extra stitch for no reason. For now, I'm gonna take a break. I have made up my mind and I'm just gonna keep going with it and hope for the best. <gasps> you know what I wanna make? A case for my AirPods. See, cause, okay, I have been crocheting into this stitch as well. And I don't think I'm supposed to do that. So, I don't know if I should just go up from here, or what? Something's not right here, guys. I think I'm gonna have to frog it. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat dinner first. So, a bit of change of plans. I started taking off my nails, so... I'm gonna finish that. I'm back. My face is clean. Um, I don't look great without my nails, so I am sorry, but... Oh well, anyway, <laughs> um, I have a box, right, and I want to put all of my yarn in it because I currently have them in a bunch of little containers and I kind of want to consolidate them. I 
I don't know if you can tell, but I am tired. I've had, I've had, I've had a day. So I need to undo it pretty far down, which is really upsetting, but it is what it is. I messed up and now I must live with the consequences. We finished our basket. Look at my little basket. It has little handles. Now I can put my stitch markers in there. Eee! My stitch markers are in here. I don't know what happened here. There's like a little... I don't know. They might make another one tomorrow. So, we'll see. Good morning. So it is currently 11, so not that much morning, but you guys just saw me make a little breakfast snack. So I wouldn't have an empty stomach, but um, I kind of want to make my hero! My hero! My plant started licking the whipped cream I put as a treat to myself and my chai. This is why I can't have nice things. What I was trying to say is... My boyfriend asked me to make him a little basket for his desk thing, so I'm gonna make him one. And hopefully it turns out better than this one now that I'm a little bit more familiar with the pattern. Okay, I'm just gonna speed through this and you guys will get to see that. Also, I'm using this like, it looks brighter on camera, but it's, it's fairly muted, but it's still cute. It's like a light blue. I like it.
now I kind of want to try a vengeful thought now. But eventually I would like to try to make a bigger basket because these are actually so cute. And I feel like it'd be easy to translate it into like a bigger pattern. So I don't know. I think they were fun. I like them. That's it for this one, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make a little basket. Well, actually not just one little basket, but two little baskets. And they're actually super cute. This is kind of a fun first video for this channel, I think. But basically, I'm going to be doing little projects here and there, bigger projects here and there, and just overall fun stuff. Thanks for watching!